Ah, brilliant, right. Best to do this before it breaks again because I've had so much trouble with this damn thing, it's untrue. Right, it's a Bedini pulse motor. If you can hear that fine little buzzing noise, it's because it's self resonating. Right now, this battery is showing 12.32 ish volts. If I was to go about the battery stack to cut the power, as you see, it goes down. Grab all the bloody wire again. And away it goes again. Fiddly as hell. Oh, come on. So every time I do this, it always breaks. Something always goes horribly, horribly wrong. I've had this thing on the shelf for quite some time. Let's see if I can get it. Ah. See, it does. Stupid lead. Function. Yep. Yep, it doesn't only function as a uh, pulse motor itself. Oh, there's some pretty noises here. And when it's in this mode, generally it only goes to 12, 15, but when it's self resonates, it goes up to 30 plus, which is uh, seems to be more efficient. I've got the uh, drive va uh, battery down here, and the charge battery up here, just showing 12. As you can see, there's a big asshole in the side, but eventually I want to stack each one of these, well, top two, top, bottom with a pulse motor, the rest was going to be a normal DC generator and same over the back as well uh, two, no, two firing, that one's not connected at the moment because it broke uh, and then the rest pick up coils but then eventually these spaces here another hole here, another hole here all the way around, eventually 16 holes on the one side uh, they're all pick up coils with the four connected in series when that was connected connected in series to uh, drive it as you can see I'm getting oh it's actually a really good RPM and uh, you probably can't see it because all I can see is uh, flickering on this thing and it runs pretty nicely got a single transistor and let's pull out a wire so you can see the back EMF there it goes See it's glowing and doing all the Bedini stuff it should be. Get that back up. That is a 15 volt, no sorry, 100 volt 15 amp transistor, as I said on eBay. Generally good prices, I've got a big ass diode there. That's actually a 600 something volts. Yeah, 600 volt diode. But last, the first, sorry, the first Bedini motor I built with these ones actually blew one of them clean in half and it hit me in the face as many things do including those big 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 magnets actually I've got loads of other projects running down here this oh yeah this was my original flywheel this is going to be the big one eight magnets in it and uh, two are smaller because I was just buying them left right and center but that this big flywheel made of uh, plyboard can fly I kid you not it can absolutely fly a collection of junk and bits and pieces and all the rest I've seen a few plans in there top secret I've seen but yeah this is uh, my Bedini motor finally running which is going to eventually run a lensless generator which is in the building projects right back here this is a starter one it's not all you know it's all floppy blocking and whatnot that is a start of my lensless generator it's going to be driven probably by a much smaller version of one of these and that's the coil that I'm going to set in the middle for the lensless I've also got e-shaped parts for another um, regenerative acceleration experiment, experiment but I've also come up with my own idea of that but it probably won't work which is this centre well these like, acts like the outside of the E and I'm going to have a core in the middle which act like the inner side, no the inside there's my 18 gauge and I've got a whole whole spool of you know that very fine gauge uh, right time's about to run out glad I got to show you all now this is going to take ages to upload thanks <laughs>